This is my reflection of a very interesting article titled The Body Rituals Among the Nasarema, which was written in 1956 by an anthropologist named Horns Minor, who was studying at the University of Michigan. I am Deborah Villalobos, and today I am sharing my take on Horns Minor's 1956 work titled The Body Rituals Among the Nasarema. I am filming this short for Andrea McCracken, who is a professor at the Grand Canyon University and instructs students such as myself to the effectiveness of intercultural communication in class 263. Today is February 6, 2022. As mentioned, Horns Minor, who studied anthropology at the University of Michigan, wrote an article about a tribe he was introduced to by a fellow anthropologist known as Professor Linton. Professor Linton stumbled across this tribe named the Nasarema, who gained a rather, rather large territory and was guided by a man with teeth made from wood. This territory today is known as North America. No, uh, Horns Minor set out to study these very different peoples, and in his study he describes with detail some of the most horrendous rituals he had ever witnessed and ceremonies performed. This story is actually describing the rituals these Nasaremas, modern-day Americans, do. And while the reader is reading the story about the putting boar's hair in the tea, in the mouth and the magic charms and potions that they use, is actually describing everyday practices of brushing your teeth, washing your body, keeping yourself healthy. And um, well, so many people aren't happy with their body, so they get breast increases or breast decreases. But while we're reading this story, people will find that they're judging and I feel that this is introducing us to ethnocentrism sorry I cannot pronounce that word ethnocentrism which is um, basically thinking that our culture or your culture is better than anyone else that um, you believe that you are right and the world is wrong but um, he suspected that these individuals did everything in their power to change and cleanse themselves and their dirtiness that their bodies have become, which every day we do. We are dirty every day, and so therefore we do need to bathe every day. We do need to shampoo, shampoo our hair, wash our bodies, brush our teeth, and use the bathroom. Our waters do get purified. Um, we would have sewage everywhere otherwise. And then um, there are people that do the uh, body transformations by having an increase breast size or a decreased breast size and um, the uh, body um, changes makes them appear to be more beautiful so other Nasaremas other Americans will go and pay to see people like Madonna or the Kardashians um, because it makes them feel better to, or to see somebody beautiful um, Minor also pointed out uh, some other uh, ceremonies talking about hospitals and doctors and dentists. And so we all know that this is how this story goes. But um, he thought that these, these people were going to die out and that they were going to just annihilate themselves. But since his articles... It has been obvious that the Nasarimas are not going anywhere. Uh, and other people from other countries have now gained their part of participating in the rituals because they become uh, a part of the Americans um, and have moved to stay in the Americas. Um, the Nasarima territory and the people all have adapted different cultures and different practices of self-cleaning. Um, according to Maru Etal, who wrote that in 2014, through the years, the discipline of intercultural communication had been born. The discipline of uh, this has been born and founded at some point in the 1950s. What a great discovery for anthropology. Now people can easily learn the languages of many other nations and this communication skill, they can learn about the different cultures, not only by observing them, they can effectively communicate through language. And 
Now it is understood why these people seem to torture themselves. And as I explained, um, the rituals that they did are now exposed as being daily horror hygiene, hygiene practices. Um, other than the tremendous increase in population of these people, they are still fond of cleaning their bodies. Nasaremas had been noted to have social skills and they enjoyed communicating. Oftentimes they would be found uh, enjoying conversations and interactions with other members of their tribe, friends, and even people that they did not know. According to Wikipedia in 2022, an American inventor had created an, a, a device they call a cell phone. This device had replaced the older versions of the telephone, which they used for communication for years, but it left them strapped at home. This new modern day um, device allows them to talk to each other no matter where they're at. And it appears that these Nasarima prefer to talk to this device than they do to talk to any other people around. They can be several people in one room and everyone will have this device in their hand and not communicating with anyone else. They watch each other on this device. They hold this device up in the air. Everybody, young and old, has one of these devices. They just cannot seem to get enough of it. First thing in the morning they grab, last thing at night they put down. And that's Aramis has really um, relied and depend on this device. Alexander Cohen, however, explained how childhood development depends on communication and how technology seems to give opportunity to help with verbalization skills of communication, yet at the same time seems to hinder interpersonal face-to-face -face conversations. In her article, Is Technology Enhancing Communication or Destroying It? She also summarized how some families feel the use of this device on a regular basis has brought them closer, while others feel it's tore them apart. By observing the Nasarimas and how much time they spend with these devices, it's easy to say that, in my opinion, is that it's tearing them apart. Um, but there was a recent journal in 2020 written by R. Swami, who began her introduction by noticing that the same scenario. She mentions her how the growth and spread of these devices are enabling and disabling people's interpersonal communication skills. When the creator of everything, as told in the book of Genesis in chapter 2, verse 18, it clearly states that the Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. These people no longer find pleasure in being together unless they have that device in their hand. Thank you for listening for my, to my story about the body ritual of the Nasarema. And I think the Nasarema uh, do depend too much on their electronic devices they sit in restaurants device in hand nobody's talking to each other anymore so thank you so much have a great day